This short video provides information about how to make an optical audio signal connection. Most current HDTV sets have one digital audio output, which is the optical type. The optical jack is almost always on the back of the TV set, not the side. This jack typically has no metal surfaces. Unlike the other jacks on the side or back of the TV set, the optical jack includes a little spring-loaded flap over the jack's opening. This prevents the dust from collecting inside the optical jack. Also, unlike the other jacks found on a TV set, the optical jack is not round or square. This means you have to rotate and align the optical plug as you insert it into the optical jack. Here's what an optical plug looks like. Please note that both the optical plugs in this picture have a translucent tip protector. Most optical cables are packaged with some form of integral tip protector. Simply pull this protector off the tip of the cable before connecting the cable. Please note, the plug housing on an optical cable, the part you hold on to, can look quite different from one optical cable to the next. This is all superficial. The actual optical plug at the end of the cable is the same for all these cables. Here's a straight on view of the optical plug. Here, I've outlined the shape of the plug. To insert this plug into an optical jack, you align the plug with the jack. This is easier to do by feel than by visual inspection. Simply center the plug on the optical jack and push slightly on the plug. If it doesn't slip into the jack, rotate the plug 90 degrees and try again. It will be easy to feel when the plug eventually lines up properly with the jack. Once the plug slips inside the optical jack, you have to push a little harder to make sure the plug snaps into place. There is a ridge on the top and bottom of the plug that slips past corresponding ridges in the jack. Once the plug is pushed past the ridges, the optical connection is secure. To remove the cable, you have to grasp the plug housing and pull with enough force to overcome the resistance of the ridges holding the optical plug in place. If you're used to removing other types of audio cable plugs, don't be deterred by the amount of force necessary to remove an optical plug. It can be noticeably greater. Finally, all optical cable plugs and jacks are molded plastic. Different plugs and jacks can fit together with loose or tight connections. This variation is normal. So long as there is a little resistance holding the optical plug inside the jack, the optical connection should perform properly. In the rare event that an optical plug does not fit inside the jack at all, or fits so loosely it does not stay in place, a different brand of optical cable will typically fix the problem.